All right, so we just uh, we just caught a beaver here. I had a caster mound right here. <clears throat> the beaver didn't drown. Uh, the drown cable I got here is a little short for the depth of water I got here. But uh, what I'm going to do today is show you how I remake this. As you can see, it's all tore up because you didn't drown. There's actually been two beavers caught here that didn't drown. Uh, so they got this bank pretty tore up. That side, they got really cut sharp. This side is just a little water hole. It's not really even a water system. It's just a pond that comes in off the river here. And so uh, I'm going to remake. show you how I remake this. We got uh, a nice low area spot right here where they're coming up very easily. But the problem is this water behind me is not deep enough. So I have to put the drowning cable out here to try to get them to drown, even though I've got a short drowning cable on here. So uh, all I'm going to do is uh, we're going to put the trap right where I'm standing here. So <clears throat> here I've got the trap. i got it set already. This is a Victor jump trap. Uh, I don't even know if they make these anymore. These are very old style traps that I inherited. So, uh, but they work, they work really well. If you find some of these jump traps, you know, they're, they're a pain to set unless you have a setters, which I don't, but you can get them set. They're, they're, but they're very good beaver traps. And you know, I didn't pay anything for these. So that's the best part. Instead of spending $25 for one beaver trap, I got a whole pile of these. I don't know if they're number four, number five. I'm not really sure what size they are, but I got a couple different sizes too. But if I'm put, I'm going to set my trap right here. I'm going to put my, uh, steak right on this side of the, of the trap because I gotta go that way with with the drowning uh, block here. So we're gonna slide the slide the lock all the way back to its normal position. And then I'm just gonna take this and well, get a good grip on it here and just toss it out. And that'll pull tight, it kinda falls off the edge over there. So uh, make sure we get this all the way set up here. Alright. Now with these jump traps, the way they work is that the lever comes up on here. So uh, I like to put the lever to the back. That way if their toe is coming over the front of the pan, it doesn't push their toe up too much. I usually, I usually catch them either way. I mean, it's, it doesn't really affect my catch rate, but you get better catches, which is what you want. So uh, we're just gonna get a nice, nice bed worked in here. There's no point in having a, you know, shitty bed. So get this. It's gonna be hard for you to see, obviously, and the water's muddy anyway, so. I'm gonna work it right in here, get it set good and tight. And now, you say, well, the trap's right there. You got all this, all this open bank here. They can come either way. If they're coming up here, they're gonna go up there anyways. Which, I don't know if you can see this, I got a big, tree I threw across here, the beavers were chewing on that already, That I just threw that across yesterday. And there's still sticks laying here. I, I'll put this whole thing in sticks. So, uh, the trap's right here. I, I made a slide here already, I made a fake slide with a caster mount on top. And in fact, probably want a little bigger caster mount here. So there's my caster mount. It's nothing special. It's a chunk of mud. That's all it's gotta be. I mean, it can be, it doesn't have to be mud, it can be a chunk of grass, whatever you have around you. Obviously, there's not too much grass left here, but mud works great. And so, right where the fake slide is, got my trap at the bottom, I'm going to come in here, put this stick right there. This stick's got a little bend on it, we'll put her all right there. So now, I've got this narrowed down already, and all I'm going to do is keep sticking sticks in all the way around the mud, so... I've got sticks sitting right back here. I'm just gonna break a few of these off if I can. All right, and now I used to I used to have this this bank here pretty good with sticks, but this beaver he worked it uh, so there was. Not, <laughs> there's not a whole lot of area they can climb up. It's a pretty sharp, steep bank. It's about a foot and a half drop down to the water, which they can get up. So I will put a few sticks there, but the main thing I'm gonna do is come out here and just start putting these sticks in. You know, they don't have to be really, you know, you're not building a fence. They can see right through this. They're just taking the easiest path here. So here's a nice stick. We'll put this 
put this right in here. They're not huge sticks either, you can see that. But just an, it's enough that they're not gonna waste their time digging through it. They're gonna come in here and uh, take the easiest path. So we'll come around here. This side I'm gonna put a little more sticks in because they're coming, they're coming from the river here. And right here is where it drops off, so I don't want to be out past there. But uh, put that down. Just break break these up. You don't need a you know you don't need a solid fence. This is pretty easy blocking. That doesn't seem to bother the the beaver a whole lot. I don't. I've never noticed. Granted, I've never done it too much, but on uh, you know using too much blocking. Not something I've ever had an issue with, you know, beavers backing out. There's guys that'll make caster mount sets with a 330 here, so then they'll really, you know, they'll really fence it down then, but I like using footholds with drowning cables if I can, <laughs> if they would drown. But, so I'm just gonna put a few sticks along there. We'll put, put this big bad boy right here. So, now, let's get this out of the way here. You can see, I got, the beaver, the beaver coming off the river right here, uh, and then they're coming up. They, they can smell that, uh, smell the caster. I'm going to put a lure on there in a little bit. The traps here. Let's get some of this grass out of the way. But it, this is a good, this is a good set. It's taken, th literally thousands of beaver every year. Not me personally, but you know, a caster mount set, which is about the most basic beaver set you can really get. There's not a there's not a whole lot of beaver sets in the book, I would say. You know, there's this, and then there's putting 330s in their runs, which is the two most common thing. Off this river, I don't know where the dam is. I, I know where their house is. They don't, I don't know where their dam is, but I can't trap on the land that has their house on. So I come down here a little ways, and they're traveling here anyways. I've trapped beaver in this same exact spot for a number of years now, and uh, I catch a few every year. So this is, this is a good quality set which is why I want to do it so now that we have get the hands cleaned a little bit now that we have our fence made trap set all we have to do is really entice them with some bait so I'm gonna get some sticks uh, some green sticks and then the lure and I'll show you how I do that here so now I'm back here uh, I've got my lure this is Dobbins uh, backbreaker lure it's a very good lure it's the only beaver lure I've ever used so that means it's a good lure because I've had lots of good success with it but I don't know if it's the best you know I don't I don't know if there's anything better I don't know if there's anything there's probably stuff worse but uh, pick the lure that you like that's just one that I prefer and so what I got here this is a red twig dogwood branch this is what I found to be the beavers favorite favorite food besides corn they love field corn but uh, you know these they're red sticks you can see them they grow wild around here uh, the beaver love them. If you don't have these, you can use any any living tree branch. I just took my little hatchet here, chopped it off, and then I come and I I just scrape a little bit of the bark off, just revealing the green under tissue there. That's the that's what they're eating. They're eating the green under tissue, the xylem and the phloem there. That's got the plant sugars sugars in it, which is why they're eating it. Uh, so I just flake it up a little bit, not too much, you know, they still want something to eat. And I'll set that right right behind the caster mound that I've got right here. So this they can see, it's a good eye appeal. And then I'll grab, I'll grab my beaver lure here. Try to, I always clean the stick off because you don't want a bunch of bunch of garbage in your in your beaver lure. So Come in here with your stick. I don't. You don't really need a glob. It this anyway. This stuff anyway is just kind of sticks to the stick. You know. So I got the stick about an inch and a half covered with with the uh, lure on it. I'll just set that right. I'll just set the whole stick right on top of the caster mound. There's no reason to try to get it off the stick onto the caster mound. And then I'll take one more little stick and uh, clean it off. And then we'll just stick it in just get a little a little bit I just kind of stick it in just to get the scent on the stick and then I just throw it out into the water so that's gonna flow flow downstream 
they're gonna know <clears throat> obviously if there's a uh, scent with the there's beaver caster in here, which is why they know there's a scent. There's beaver caster and a little mint, I think. That's what it kind of smells like, anyways. And so the beaver from downstream are gonna come up and investigate, see this, see the stick, sell, smell the larger amount of smell here, and then uh, come up and we'll have a beaver. So hopefully, hopefully this uh, set catches something. If it does, tomorrow I'll show you. If not, well, uh, maybe I got them all because I, I have a trap about 100 feet uh, north of here, or south of here, and uh, that one, I caught a muskrat yesterday, and today, the water, well, the water dropped so much overnight the trap was out of water, so I got to go adjust that today, too. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and if I have a beaver tomorrow, I'll show you. Alrighty, <clears throat> so we're, we're back here, uh, where we re remade the set right here. And as you can see, there we have a beaver. So, uh, pretty, pretty neat. I'm, I just want the, the main video was just to show you how to make a remake that was, uh, you know, just destroyed by the beaver. And this one too, again, was destroyed by the beaver uh, because that drowning cage was too short. So, I'm going to do the same thing I did before, remake it, and hopefully catch another beaver. All right, so uh, as you can see, I got it remade already. Exactly, pretty much the same way I remade it earlier. Uh, got some fresh dogwoods here, and got this pretty small beaver, and his belly is almost completely empty. So must have just been branching out from the main main den site. But uh, my other trap just down the way here uh, was sprung off for the second day in a row. So. Uh, hopefully there's a, another beaver or two around. So, um, but I just wanted to mention, this is the third time I've had to remake remake this black blocking. I've caught three beaver here, and every single time I've had to remake remake the blocking. So, if you think that the blocking is going to scare them away, it doesn't. They're they're used to crawling through trees and brush and all sorts of stuff. So that uh, blocking is not going to scare them away. And so, just just try it. If if you think you have a good spot, you catch a beaver, it doesn't drown, it destroys the bank. As long as you got a, as long as it's not a straight cut off bank, if you got a little bit of a slope going in there, you can still get your trap set, reset it, put some blocking there. You're gonna catch more beaver if you do. You don't need to pull it, pull your trap out of that spot and try to find a different spot if the beaver destroy it. You can set right where that spot is. So that's all I really wanted to say in this video to show you to you got to remake these beaver caster sets. So, thanks for watching. Also, if you haven't watched a video about my trapper giveaway, go watch it. Uh, it's a really good opportunity for younger trappers. So, if you're a younger trapper, if you know a younger trapper, go watch it. Tell them to watch it. Thanks for watching.